Hello students, today we are discussing the MCQs based on the neonatological resuscitation and resuscitation in neonates is a very very important topic. So I have framed the questions like this so that we can cover some of the points related to the neonatal resuscitation. The first question says there is a term newborn which was provided warmth, the positioning of the head and neck was done, the child was dried and the airway was cleared and was stimulated. And after doing all this, after 60 seconds of the birth, child is still apneic and limp. Most appropriate next action is, right? So if you say here, all the initial things, giving the temperature, clearing the airway, that has been done in this child. And still after this, the child is apneic and the child is limp. Now, what does the neonatal resuscitation guideline says? First, we look here particularly. The child at birth is there. After this, you look for three things, whether the child is dumb, there is adequate tone, the child is breathing or crying. If everything is present, then nothing is to be done. But if there is no, then what you do is, you basically maintain the temperature, you position the airway, you clear the secretions, and you dry the child and you stimulate the child. And in this question, all these things have been done. All these things have been done, but the child is still having apnea. The child is still having apnea. If the child is still having apnea, what you should do is, you should go for the positive pressure ventilation. If the child is gasping, the heart rate is below 100 per minute, or the child is having apnea, you should go for the positive pressure ventilation. So the right answer here is you should start the positive pressure ventilation, right? So that is the answer to the question number one. That is the choice number B. You should start the positive pressure ventilation. Differential section is no longer recommended. Continuous stimulation that is not going to help give free flow supplemental oxygen not required. Resuscitation guidelines clearly cut says that more than 35 weeks of gestation you should always start with 21% oxygen and less than 35 weeks you should start with the 21 to 30% oxygen. Right. So we move on now to the next question. The next question says Term newborn is breathing, spontaneous breathing is there, heart rate is above 100 per minute, airway is clear and correctly positioned, but the respirations are labored. Previous question we were saying apnea. Now here in this we are saying the respirations are labored. Next step in the management is. Now if you see here, the spontaneous breathing is there, heart rate is above 100, both of these things is there. Right. So if you see here, there is presence of the labored breathing. Right. There is no apnea, not gasping given, heart rate is given above 100. So if there is labored breathing present, you should start the continuous positive airway pressure. You should start the continuous positive airway pressure. Right. So these things can be very simple, but the points you need to catch in the MCQs, these are very, very important. So if you see here, what you need to start is, you need to start here is the continuous positive airway pressure, CPAP. That is the right answer in this question. Positive pressure ventilation already discussed in the previous MCQ, three indications, apnea, gasping, heart rate less than 100. Differential suction is no longer recommended. Chest compression is the heart rate less than 60, but here it is given is the heart rate more than 100. So the best appropriate answer here is the continuous positive airway pressure. Moving on to the question number three. In an apneic newborn, positive pressure ventilation was started. Even after the positive pressure ventilation, heart rate is 40 beats per minute and not improving with positive pressure ventilation. Because you all know the best parameter which you monitor in the neonatal resuscitation is what? That is heart rate. So you started with positive pressure ventilation, but still the heart rate remains 40. But the point which is being crucial in this question is there is no chest movement. There is no chest movement. So if the chest movement is not there, your next thing is you should start the ventilation corrective steps. 
यू शुड स्टार्ट दी वेंटिलेशन करेक्टिव स्टेप्स राइट इफ द चेस्ट मूवमेंट वॉज गिवन द चेस्ट मूवमेंट इज देयर विच विल डिस्कस इन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द सिचुएशन बिकम्स डिफरेंट हियर द पॉइंट गिवन इज देयर इज नो चेस्ट मूवमेंट एंड इफ देर इज नो चेस्ट मूवमेंट वी नीड टू स्टार्ट द वेंटिलेशन करेक्टिव स्टेप्स विच यू रिमेंबर बाई मिस्टर सोपा एम आर एस ओ पी ए नॉ एम स्टैंड फॉर द मास्क एडजस्टमेंट द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज यू शुड एडजस्ट द मास्क एंड सेकेंड इज आर फॉर रिपोजिशन ऑफ द एयर वे एंड रिमेंबर द हेड शुड बी न्यूट्रल और स्लाइटली एक्सटेंडेड राइट सो आफ्टर दिस यू शुड ट्राई अगेन द पॉजिटिव प्रेशर वेंटिलेशन एंड री एसेस द चेस्ट मूवमेंट इफ देर इज स्टिल नो चेस्ट मूवमेंट यू शुड डू दिस सेक्शन ऑफ द माउथ एंड द नोज एंड देर शुड बी ओपन माउथ for this you can lift the jaw forward right so this is the suction and open the mouth still you should try and reassess the chest movement if there is no chest movement you need to increase the pressure and increase in the pressure should be in 5 to 10 cm of water increments and maximum you can go to 40 cm still it is not there you need a alternative airway either please an endotracheal tube or laryngeal mask right so if the question says in spite of giving positive pressure ventilation the heart rate remains low and there is no chest movement your answer should be to look for the corrective ventilation steps start the ventilation corrective steps that is what is required now compare this question to the next question in an apneic newborn positive pressure ventilation is started heart rate is 40 beats per minute all the ventilation corrective steps were done and chest movement is present now the examiner here saying is already you have done the ventilation corrective steps and the chest movement is there so what should be the next step the next step if the heart rate is less than 60 if the heart rate is less than 60 what you do is you start the chest compressions you start the chest compression so that is the indication for the chest compression according to the neonatal resuscitation guidelines chest compressions are indicated when the heart rate remains less than 60 after at least 30 seconds of positive pressure ventilation that inflates the lungs that means there is evidence of the chest movement with ventilation so if the question says there is chest movement present and corrective ventilation steps are all done then your answer should be to start the chest compression to start the chest compression if you have done chest compression after 30 seconds after 30 seconds even if the heart rate is less than 60 then you give is epinephrine epinephrine if you have given epinephrine still the heart rate is less than 60 then you rule out pneumothorax then you rule out pneumothorax understood so the right answer here is this and the position of the chest compression this is the landmark of the chest compression and in the chest compression how much you should compress it should be compression depth is approximately 1/3 of the anterior posterior diameter of the chest it should be 1/3 of the anterior posterior diameter of the chest question number 5 newborn was given the face mask ventilation but there is no improvement all the ventilation corrective steps were done but the heart rate is not rising and there is poor chest movement there is poor chest movement but you have already done the ventilation corrective steps what does it says immediate next step is now if you look at the choices being given if i think start chest compression there has nothing been given regarding the heart rate given intravenous epinephrine nothing is being given if i increase the ventilation rate that does not suffice the thing 100 rates is not required at all so the most appropriate answer here is alternative airway should be inserted immediately right and what does the neonatal resuscitation guideline says if with a face mask it does not result in a clinical improvement an endotracheal tube or laryngeal mask is strongly recommended so what is recommended is a endotracheal tube or a laryngeal mask to improve the ventilation efficacy so here the right answer should be the alternative airway should be inserted immediately so in this i have tried to basically discuss some of the mcqs related to the neonatological resuscitation 
in the further i will try to cover up more topics so that we can revise the whole topic of the pediatrics before your examination thanks